The Texas State Library and Archives Commission is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. This suffrage movement was long in the making, and our latest exhibit, Women's Power, Women's Vote, looks at the plight of women before suffrage, the struggle for voting rights, and the role of women in power. The journey for women from frontier farms and traditional homes to the State House and other arenas of power took decades and the efforts of many individuals and groups to achieve. This transformation in women's public and political life is documented in the exhibit through original pamphlets, correspondence, photographs, organizational records, legislative files, artifacts, and audio recordings. Throughout the 20th century, Texas women organized to first gain the right to vote and then to increase their representation in state government. Drawing on the State Archives collections, Women's Power, Women's Vote explores how women's desire for self-agency took hold in Texas, motivated their fight for suffrage, and evolved into broader struggles for equal rights. We look at the status of women at the turn of the 20th century, where life for most was isolating, physically challenging, and limited by social norms and the lack of many legal rights. Their main role was to maintain the home and raise children. One key issue preventing women from fully participating in the legal and political life of Texas was that only men were permitted to vote in elections. The desire for equality became synonymous with the right to vote. We trace the progress toward suffrage over the decades leading to the eventual passage of the 19th Amendment through selections from the personal collections of Texas women and government records. This framed display of items illustrating the women's suffrage movement was assembled by Vary McFadden Godfrey of Williamson County, who along with her sisters Alice, Aura, and Alma, were active in the cause to gain women the right to vote. Their grandfather, David H. McFadden, a soldier in the Texas Revolution, was a supporter of women's suffrage and the first honorary member of the Texas Equal Rights Association. But suffragists faced opposition, including from other women who did not view the right to vote as a necessary or positive development. Ida Darden of Fort Worth was a conservative activist who opposed suffrage for women. In 1916, she served as the publicity director of the National Association Opposed to Women's Suffrage. Her scrapbook offers a view of the association's arguments and rationale for opposing suffrage as evidenced by this article published in the Houston Chronicle. The home is the greatest contribution which women have ever made or ever will make to the world. And it is the mission of the association to preserve this sacred institution from the invasion of politics and protect women from the burdens which are threatened to be thrust upon them. It believes that the motherhood of the nation is our greatest inspiration and that she is the guardian angel of our welfare but that directing the affairs of government is not within her sphere. Nevertheless, the momentum for women's suffrage ultimately won the day, and one by one, states began ratifying the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Women's suffrage became federal law on August 26, 1920, after the required three-fourths of the states had voted for the amendment. Gaining suffrage was a pivotal event, altering the futures of millions of American women. Women's Power, Women's Vote provides a window into this important history, telling key parts of the story through a selection of items from our collections. 